made it over to New Orleans. That's right. After um, just a couple days, we took to get over from Fort Lavaca. And we're going to be here for five days, which feels a little um, extravagant or something because <laughs> our last several destinations have just been like three days each or, or transit days. So. so it's nice to be here for a little longer and be able to relax a little bit, yeah. unwind. Yeah, absolutely. We're staying at the Jude Travel Park. I think it was about a 10 minute drive to get kind of to the French Quarter and the downtown area. It's the closest place we've found that it has, that's nice and gated and safe and also has really great reviews. There's a lot going on this weekend as well as just the normal steamboat rides and tours, walking tours, garden tours. So. We've got a lot we're hoping to fit in. We'll see how much we actually get to, but yeah, um, yeah. we're also going to be getting the car into the mechanics, so hopefully that all goes smoothly. Really looking forward to see what the Big Easy has to offer. That's right. You can just barely see the greenery. Uh, yeah, wow, what a narrow passageway back to that courtyard. I wish I could go in. Um, so, here's some great examples of these um, wrought iron balconies that Maggie loves. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're all along. It's kind of cool. There's that statue with the huge shadow. They just have the light in just the right place. So we took the car to Boudreaux's Automotive. They had great reviews on Google and um, our experience so far with them has been fantastic. But they found out we had a problem with our tires on the car. Um, we had replaced one tire like- Years ago. Years ago, but apparently we didn't replace the other ones. And so this one different one kind of threw them all out of alignment. So anyway, that was causing this problem. So they fixed it and I'm gonna go pick it up. It was done in one day, and the pricing is really affordable, and I'm waiting for my Lyft driver who, um, oh, is here. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. Don't keep them waiting, they're gonna give you a bad review. We have come down to the French Quarter again. We are gonna check out Cafe du Monde, and we're gonna take uh, the ferry over to Algiers Point and just sort of walk around that old neighborhood. For the third day in a row, well, not in a row, but the third time down here, we, we found a parking spot, no problem. Yeah, a uh, great downtown spot. And um, we don't even have to pay for parking this time. There's no signs or anything, so I think we're okay. Yeah. Okay, so that parking spot wasn't exactly perfect. Um, when we started walking away, we saw violations on a couple of people's windshields so we decided not to stay there <laughs> but thankfully we went right around the block and we found another great spot we, we can pay like two bucks to stay here so we're good we are gonna go to cafe du monde which is right back here the line is like over a block long and uh 
we're just not that into it, so we're not going to worry about it. We'll, we'll try it on a different day, or um, yeah, we'll just go somewhere. Yeah, there's other cafes that make the beignets, so yeah, I guess this place must be pretty. Famous. It's the spot. Yeah, it's super famous, but yeah, I'm just not that patient. I don't want to waste any. Okay, so I think the trick is don't breathe as it's coming toward your mouth. Oh yeah, yeah, don't breathe in either direction. like fried bread with like a lot of, of uh, powdered sugar that's that's just crazy I've been working on drywall or something. That's probably why no one else is out here. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little engine-y <laughs> up here. <laughs> to check out the garden district um, traveling by trolley car yeah one of the oldest trolley cars they have here yeah uh, going down st. Charles Avenue yep unfamiliar with New Orleans might not understand why everyone is buried above ground and that is because New Orleans is actually below sea level and so way back when the early settlers would bury the coffin six feet under and during times of flooding because there's a lot of air in the coffins 
they would raise up, flow down the streets, and it was a pretty gruesome sight, but also a health concern. And so um, they soon learned that they needed to bury above ground. Because of the hot subtropical climate, the tomb effectively becomes an oven, and the high heat causes rapidly the body to decompose. It's been compared to a slow cremation. Within about a year, all that's left are bones. The specifics vary depending on the exact design of the tomb, but the typical scenario is that after a year, the bones of the departed are swept into an opening in the floor of the tomb, which is then ready for its next occupant. It's common practice to bury all the members of a family in the same tomb. Uh, with names and dates added to a plaque or headstone as necessary. The procedure is not only sanitary and efficient, it avoids the problem of real estate needs as time goes on. That's all you're getting. Fascinating. Thank you. So we had a really great time in New Orleans. It's a big city, there's so much going on. It's definitely hard to fit everything in. My favorite thing um, was experiencing the town by foot and by public transit. I, oh, I yeah. really loved riding the tram and just walking around the French Quarter and looking at the balconies and looking in the windows at the funky shops. <laughs> yeah. That was just so much fun. I just really loved all the live music. It was basically happening everywhere we went, um, in the daytime, in the nighttime, uh, in restaurants, bars, on the street corner. Um, I just thought that was fantastic and so much fun. What, uh, what didn't we get to do that you're pretty bummed out on? Oh, yeah, well, I would have liked to go to one of the plantations at least. Um, yeah, there's especially, so many. Yeah, I was really hoping we could get to Oak Alley. Yeah. Which looks pretty cool from the pictures. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's just so much history, so much to learn and be aware of in our past. So, um, yeah, that would have been really great if we could have made that happen. One thing I would have really loved to do, so we took the ferry, so we did get out on the water, so that was fun. But uh, the Natchez Steamboat does a jazz brunch on Sundays, and I thought that sounded like that would have been such a great time. So yeah. anyway, we are getting ready to roll on to the next spot. In that direction, to he the east. Heading further east, further to the warmth and the sun and the beaches. Yep. Yep. See you there. See you there.